fourth Kleist or fourth palace down in St David's. Uh, I've been down here before, walked all this coast from like Port Carlis, lovely coastal walk over to White Sands. Uh, well anyway, today I come down, wasn't planning on walking all the way over and wasn't planning on doing this vlog neither, but um, I got a, a couple of books, these uh, coastal walk books, and I was looking in there last night for different ideas, places and locations, and uh, i seen this arch in the sea. There's a big huge rock with an arch. That's a large in it. Well, that sea's coming up a bit higher. And um, I couldn't really find out where it was. But anyway, I've come on this walk today and I think it's the same one that's in this little book and I've spotted it. So we've got this lovely little arch, you know, a big huge rock with a uh, big piece in the middle missing. So it's got an arch where you can see right through it. Um, Obviously, the time now is probably about... What's the time now? It's 25 to 11, so sun has been up for a while. Ash, uh, sunlight on the rock and ash lighting conditions, as you all know. Not the best time for shooting, but... Um, I say I won't plan on shooting, but... Uh, I've come down now over to the rocks. Climbed down quite low. And probably be about... I'm about... Uh, I don't know, two feet. Two, three foot away from the actual sea. I'm not sure if it actually comes in or out from where we are. Because uh, we're quite far out into into the coast. Uh, on, on all the rocks. But um, I mean, if it comes in any further, I'll have to climb back up. But yeah, I've come, I've come in and gone down as low as I can so we can see through the, the arch. Uh, Sky-wise, you know, it's bright blue with the odd cloud or two. But um, I'm just bracketing these images now. And what I mean by that is taking a couple uh, overexposed, which is giving me about, you know, I'm going up to about four or five seconds, which is way too much. It's way overexposed. But that's giving me that little bit of movement and smoothing out the, smoothing out the sea there. And then um, I'm going underexposed, where I'm getting in as much detail uh, and shadows in, in the highlights. So um, let me just show you what I mean by that. Here we go, so I've got a uh, an ND filter on now and then if you can see the little marker here that's telling me it's underexposed that's correct exposure when it's in the centre that's two and a half seconds but if you see highlights blown out so I'm underexposing for the first one See as, see as I end it exposed, it brings out all the detail in the clouds. So I'm under exposing there by a good few stops. That's giving me half a second. So I'll take. Oh, that's quite a start actually. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, a fifth of a second. Um, focus wise, doesn't really matter. I'm not far, that far away from everything, but um, touch the centre there, because obviously the rocks I want in focus. Take that shot. Okay, so as you can see, quite blue, quite a lot of detail. And then I'll slowly bring it up, and you can see then, see the histogram there? That's coming more into the centre, and that's how you want that. So, there's another one. Take it up again. Now that's saying correct exposure there now. See where that's bang in the middle. Instagram, nice and central. Could probably bring it over a bit more. And then that's giving me an eighth of a second. Like that. And then I'm going over exposed. I'm just going to lift all the shadows. Because it was two seconds, I should get some smoothness in the sea there. So once you've got all these images in, guys, that's all you do. You select the images that you want in Lightroom, and then you click on Merge, and then HDR image, and then it'll take the best of the highlights, the shadows, the exposure, all that, and put it all together, 
and then once it's put it all together you can just tweak it yourself then so you should have some nice smoothness in the water some detail in the sky and highlights and shadows will be correct but uh, that's it really just a little short one for about you I might come back in again if I pick up something else down there uh, I got the long 100 to 400 mil lens with me as well so I might take some shots across to uh, Ramsey's Island or possibly Skomal Island that's only just over there I don't, I don't know yet but um, I'm gonna make just do a little bit of drone footage and uh, I'm tempted to have a dip in here as well it's looking absolutely beautiful I'll give you a look now have a look at this Wow, lovely. Just had a little dip in there, <coughs> in the pool. You might just catch us there on the uh, little time lapse I had going there. But um, let me talk to you about settings wise, guys. I'm on uh, ISO 50. Uh, the Canon 60 goes down to ISO 50. Most cameras go down to ISO 100, which goes down a little lower. And the reason why I want that is because the lower the ISO, the longer I can get the exposure going for to try and smooth out that C. And um, I'm on F16, that's a small aperture, so imagine F16, F2.8, so F16, small aperture, and then that's gonna let in not so much light. Again, the less light you got coming in onto your sensor, the longer you can have the exposure. And uh, focus wise, I was just doing autofocus here, just focusing on, on the rocks really, but you know, it wouldn't have mattered if I shot on, on manual focus and just shot to infinity or whatever. Um, I'm going to get in roughly um, about half a second for normal exposure and like I say, bracketing up and down. So, it's all about trial and error guys, you know. I'm not a professional photographer, uh, I don't know everything about photography, uh, I just do you know, everything, most of the stuff I picked up, I picked up off the internet, watching YouTube videos, uh, just practicing and practicing and practicing, but um, hopefully if you're watching these videos, it might use a little bit of uh, advice or guidance into what you're doing if you're fairly new into photography, uh, so you know, it's not just the photography I want to be showing you, it's just um, some of the beautiful locations around Wales, but not just Wales, you know, the whole of Britain, the whole of the world. But uh, that's it really guys, uh, you know, do me a favour as well, if you can, leave a few comments uh, below and then I get an idea then of who's following me and what kind of what my audience is, um, why, you know, tell me why you're watching these videos, is it for the travel side, the van life side, the photography? Uh, whatever, just leave a comment and um, you know, I'll comment back uh, possibly follow your page as well if you're doing the same kind of thing and uh, that's going to be it for now guys uh, thanks for watching and until next time I'll see you again